Let Q be the two by two matrix that projects vectors orthogonally onto the line y equals x. Use geometric reasoning, no calculations. What is the kernel of Q? The kernel of Q is the same as the kernel of the transformation, which is a set of all input vectors x in Rn, such that under the transformation t of vector x, the output vector is the zero vector. So let's take a look at this geometrically. I have the line y equals x graphed in black. Let's assume the blue vectors are the input vectors and the red vectors are the images of the blue vectors under the transformation or the output vectors. So for example, if we consider the vector 1, 8 graphed here in blue, if this is orthogonally projected onto the line y equals x, the output vector or the image is this red vector here. But we're looking for the set of input vectors where the output vector is a zero vector. Notice in this case, we do not get the zero vector. Well now let's consider the input vector negative three, negative six, which is graphed here in blue. If this is projected orthogonally onto the line y equals x, the result or the output is this red vector here. Again, notice how the output vector again is not the zero vector. However, if we take a look at this third vector that's perpendicular to the line y equals x here in blue, the vector negative six, six, if this is projected orthogonally onto the line y equals x, the result is the zero vector, which indicates this vector is in the kernel of Q or the kernel of the transformation. However, any vector that's perpendicular to the line y equals x when projected orthogonally onto the line y equals x will give us the zero vector. So for example, all of these vectors if projected orthogonally onto the line y equals x, the result would be the zero vector. So notice how if we move all these vectors into standard position, meaning the initial point at the origin, all the vectors would fall on the line passing through the origin with a slope of negative one, this line here. So we should be able to recognize the equation of this line would be the line y equals negative x. And therefore we can say the kernel of Q, or the kernel of the transformation, is equal to the line y equals negative x. Again, all the vectors on this line are perpendicular to the line y equals x, and therefore when the vectors are projected orthogonally onto the line y equals x, we would get the zero vector. I hope you found this helpful.